scientists and other, uh, welcome again to Ice Dynamo. In this video, I want to show you really briefly a little aseptic technique. We're going to be streaking to single colony. So, you want to know how to streak to single colonies aseptically. So, pretend that this black circle is your petri dish full of auger and that this green marker um, is your inoculation loop. This is really, really simple. You, you flame your inoculation loop, put it in your media, or um, you know, stick it into the auger. It'll hiss, right? So it's cool. And then you can touch it to your, your living sample without killing anything. And then you, once you've touched it to your living sample, either on a plate or in, um, in liquid culture, and then you do three lines on the surface of the auger. And you flame your loop again, touch it to the auger so that it hisses, and then you streak through those lines, and then do two more without touching your previous. This is a way of sort of diluting your culture. And then you flame again, do the hiss, streak through, two, three, and if you're feeling really ambitious, or if you have a really dense culture, you'll flame again, hiss, and then three more times. And if you, you will definitely get single colonies, individual little circles, you know, coming from one cell clone um, with this method. your Bunsen burner, also known as a propane torch. You'll need um, a sterile auger plate. This particular one is potato dextrose auger. And you'll need your culture that you're going to be subculturing. Um, you'll also need an inoculation loop. I made this one out of um, aluminum. Platinum works best because it's actually not a great thermal conductor, so while this part is getting hot, this part is not, aluminum not so much, but I leave that to your discretion. So, what you're going to do is flame your loop, you want it to get, if you can, red hot, and indeed if you sort of hold it sort of in line with the flame, that works best. The next thing you're going to do is lift up your plate and then touch it to the auger surface, you'll hear it hiss, which means that it's no longer hot, it's not going to kill your culture when you touch it. Now, I'm going to put this down. It's not sterile anymore, I do need to put on my mask because this is um, some sort of penicillium species, which means the spores are not great to inhale. So we do that. Okay, one more. Flame your loop. Um, touch it to the surface one more time. It's good to be extra careful with this. To the surface, you hear that nice hiss. And then we're going to open up this. Look at that, that is gorgeous. Pick up some of that. That used to be bread. Somewhere. Okay. So, these three parallel Line. And we'll cling. And we'll turn it over. And then once through the line, and then two more times not through the line. Again, parallel line. Single colony there. One more time. Okay. There you have it. So, what you want to do now is flip the plate over when you incubate it. You can see that it's got some condensate right there. Um, and you don't want that to sort of 
glom together and drip onto your plate because then all your single colonies will sort of mush together. Um, now the reason, one of the reasons we like to do single, streaking to single colonies is because then we're assured that you know each colony came from a single cell. It's all a bunch of clones, millions and millions of them, all from a single cell. So it is genetically as pure as we're ever going to get. Um, so there you have it.